my, we lost it. Let, okay. us know, let me know when you guys want to start recording. Oh, geez. Wait a minute. <laughs> Some things, we ought to have a blooper reel someday. Oh, our whole reel, our whole class is a blooper reel. <laughs> yeah, that is, the, yeah, what, we'd have to be serious for a little bit. Oh, no. Well, good Sunday fun day, everybody. It's Greg, and we're here with John, and I wish I had his hair. I know. it's looking And good. we're here with Carrie, long. Carrie and Mike, and I wish I had his beard. And with Kat, and I wish I had her kitchen. So, <laughs> and, yeah, what? That's it. <laughs> Can't be all about food, Greg. So ready or not, or like it or not, we're here for another Sunday lesson. We trust you will all enjoy. So we're going to do our upcoming stuff first. Soon you'll be able to see it pop on the screen. And there it is. Oh, there it is. Um, so it, I'm going to erase this top one because that already happened. Um, OK. So we have coming up on, as always, Sunday is our Facebook. Uh, Tuesday uh, is always our um, 6.30 Bible study. And on June 6th, for a heads up, we got our scavenger hunt. And am I getting yelled at by Kat? Yeah. We haven't done show and tell yet. Yeah, but that's, uh, oh yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> oh, so it will be gone. It's going to be yeah, tomorrow. It will be gone. <laughs> I was confused because it's on my calendar for tomorrow. Okay. In the at magical world of pre-recording. Yes. Yeah. And boy, did we have a good time at show and tell. How, yeah, how was it, Greg? Was it good? Oh, hundreds of people came. <laughs> the world was changing. Zoom, yeah, Zoom, Zoom crashed. There are so many people, Zoom crashed. People are still talking about that. So then coming up in June is our scavenger hunt on June 6th and two truths and a lie. Uh, although we try not to encourage lying uh, with our church people, but uh, exaggeration. I lie on uh, June nineteenth, and I'll get off that screen as quickly as I can. So, um, so we're back to full screen, and I think John is going to pray us in. Yep, because we pray first, and Just then everything else. We yeah, I'm so we've gotten into a good rhythm. Yeah, that's good. Some of us remember that. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, just uh, thank you for this uh, blessed time where we get to spend time uh, fellowshipping not only with us as uh, leaders, but also with our entire class. We lift uh, up each one of them. We pray that they're doing great. And we pray also that this lesson uh, sinks in and is a real blessing for all who hear. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, John. And now I'm going to sing. I'm going to get it back to our screen and okay. we're going to call up Miss Kat to do some excellent worship. Right. And take it away, Kat, with oh. a familiar song. We are going to start with the. Oh, I think I need glasses. Pardon me. Greg, are you going to mute us? Oh, yeah. Please mute yeah. them all. Mute us. Mute us. I see better now. Okay. So we're going to sing Jesus Loves Me. It's an oldie and a goodie. Actually, we're doing a couple that are pretty old ones um, today, but that's going to be fun. And I think this really um, goes along nicely with our lesson today. So have fun with this. Okay. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. 
hear it a lot of times at Christmas, but it's one of the best names ever for every single day of the year because Emmanuel means God with us. And that's so important to know on each and every day. So let's sing this one. If you don't know it, it's pretty easy and you'll pick it up. You know, just a couple of things before we go into the story. We sang that song, like Carrie said, that was like our class song, Jesus Loves Me. Mm -hmm. I never knew there was a second chorus until, am I right, Carrie and Mike uh, or, and John, that all of a sudden Amy sang it, I think, one time. Yeah. He wanted to sing a second verse. I didn't even know there was one. And then she sang it, and that's how I found out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. Of, I just chose one random one. Yeah. And I, 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 you know what, when you were singing that Emmanuel song, I would love that for the choir. I think the choir would oh, kick that out of the park. Well, job, and it's slow enough that they'd be able to do the sign language for it. So yeah. I think it's really beautiful. If you're listening, Bridget, hint, hint, hint. There you go. There you yeah. go. Okay. Yeah. And it wouldn't be the same without Mr. Carver right there. So we're going to turn it over to John for the story of the week. Oh, uh, Bible verse. Bible, Bible verse. I tell you. I knew I Every was week. something wrong. You know, uh, I, my attention span is only as, as long as it needs to be. Very, and very short. Not a minute longer, unfortunately. Now we're at the Bible verse of the week with Mr. Jesse. Okay. Okay. Our Bible verse this week is Luke 11 9. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find, knock and the door will be open to you. Luke 11. Nine. Ready? Yeah, yep. we're going to repeat after Mike now. 
Bible verse. Bible verse. Ask. 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 And it will be given to you. And, and it will be given to, given you. to you. Seek and you will find. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. Knock and the door will be open, open to, you. to you. Luke 11 9. Luke 11 9. Nine. Nine. Okay, that's excellent. excellent. Now, let's hear it for my. Okay, now we're going to do the skit. We're going to need to do casting. Thing. We're going to need Jesus back by popular demand. Man, I don't know. I don't know why y'all keep coming back to me for this. Oh, well, last week was phenomenal, so. Stellar, sleeping. Really good. Really good. All right. And uh, I'll be the narrator. Okay. And then uh, Mike and Carrie. And, and maybe Cat too. Yep. We're they're gonna act. They're gonna act out some of the some of the. In the whatever blanks. Yeah. Be like improv. Whoa. We'll okay. try. No, we no pressure. Do, we never no do pressure, guys. Do we? All right. Who's gonna say action? Well, wait a minute. Yeah, Mike, get out of the way. Watch your ears. Action! Very good. Very good. That was excellent. Authoritative, Carrie. Authoritative. Okay, the name of this skit comes from Luke 11. Jesus teaches us how to pray. And this Jesus told us we should pray. Father, your name be honored as holy. Remember, we are made in the image of God, so we need to try to be as holy as God. Oh, that's excellent. Let's hear it from Mike. That was really all week for this. Good. John, are you going to read your narrative? Yeah, yeah, I was just letting you guys, you know. Glasses on. No, I, I just got contact, so I'm trying them out. Is that what happened? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't get a haircut yet, but I soon will. I think. Pardon us, people. Back to the story. Yeah. <laughs> this means we're praying to our Father God. God likes it when we call him Father. He wants us to talk to him like we talk to our own Father. God is holy. We should treat him as special because he is God, and we need to respect him. Amen to that. Your kingdom come. We look forward to God's return. Let's hear it for Carrie. That was absolutely wow. wonderful. Great. We pray for the day when everyone honors God. Give us each day our daily bread. Lord, Greg, I think you're just doing a phenomenal job. Doing great. Oh, it's tough. It's tough. Uh, it's tough. Out of breath. Read that again so I can jump yeah, in. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Give us each day our daily bread. Lord, there's a lot of things that I need or that I think I need, but you are the one who always provides for me. So I ask that you give me exactly what I need for this day. That's excellent. We ask God to give us what we need, not what we want. We need food, clothing, and shelter, but we don't need video games or smartphones. In Bible times, people lived on bread because it filled you up and helped you stay full. Fabulous. Did you say iPhones, John? Yeah, I did. Smartphones. Okay, just want to make sure. Yeah, go turn your ears off. <laughs> and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves also forgive everyone in death to us. You know, we need to remember that God made a promise that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. And as he forgives our sins, we need 
to likewise forgive those that have sinned against us. That's excellent. Tell God that we are sorry for what we've done and we will try not to do it anymore. But we also need to forgive people who have done wrong to us. We are to forgive others just like God forgives us. Yay. And do not bring us into temptation. Oh, Father God, help us throughout the day to seek you whenever we are tempted. Mm. Good, yeah. We are asking God to help us to know the right thing to do. God gives us the strength and ability to run away from things that tempt us. The end. Yeah. Very Let's hear it for the cast and crew. I mean, this was really teaching. Good job, everybody. Good one. Yeah, that's really good because those are all really helpful reminders for all of us. Mm -hmm. Now I wonder what does it mean? Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what does it mean? Well, let's look at our verse, which was Luke eleven nine. 9. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Well, that, my friends, is talking about prayer. Okay? God says we're supposed to ask and it will be given to us. But... There's always a caveat. Um, you cannot be asking for things that are not God's will. I mean, you can ask, but he didn't say he'd give you those. So when we ask according to God's will, then we will receive it. That's an important thing. Seek and you will find. Well, again, if we're seeking ungodly things, no, 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 we are not going to find those. That if we are seeking things of God, he's obviously going to help us and he's going to open our eyes and he's going to overturn rocks for us and say, look right there, that's where it is. So when we're seeking the things of God, God is so excited because he wants to show us those things and reveal himself to us. And the last part, knock and the door will be open to you. This reminds me a lot of just being very persistent in prayer, being very persistent in something that you're hoping for, praying for, longing for, whether it's something you're praying for, for a friend or for yourself, especially if it's something you're praying about that, um, where you're just, that God will continue to grow you and change you more into the image of his son. Those kind of persistent things are wonderful. And God says, oh, yeah, I'm going to open that door for you. So that is what it means. Wow. Very good. Very, Very good. good. That's really thoughtful. Thank you, Kat. Thanks. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, speaking about prayer. See, speak, yeah. you want me to do that and pray us out? You got to remind them that you have to remind them. I'm going to do the uh, prayer thing at 1 30 today. No, no, not today. Not We're not no, doing not, a lot of prayer today. today. Um, yeah. Carvers are out of town and yeah. um, for the live portion of it. So we'll get back on track of that. Well, yeah, I, can, I can close this out if you want. Okay. Okay, great. Jesus, we just lift up uh, this lesson and and uh, all that it means about praying to you, asking for things that we need, and just to center seeking your, and your life for us. Just enjoy your companionship and your encouragement during this time. Just uh, We lift all the folks in our class, and I'm just thinking of uh, Adrilla's entire uh, group home and everyone there. Keep them safe and sound and watch over Adrilla with her uh, transportation needs as well. We also lift up the Milford house, and we pray for all the folks there, and we pray for Angela and her roommate. We pray for Michael and his mom and his dad, and we pray for Andrew, and we pray for Mark, Kim and Eddie, and uh, Mark Superman, and Jay, and Craig, and Kelly, and 
just uh, Rebecca and uh, of course Debbie and the other Debbie and uh, Paul and uh, Paul and uh, Billy. Billy, excellent. And uh, just lift up everyone that we know, Scotty and Mark and Scott and uh, Tim, and just uh, lift up everybody, Steve and uh, Ashley and Jeff and Blossom and Laura. And just thank you for our class. Just thank you for this time. And uh, we just pray we'll be together real soon. Just keep everyone safe and have a blessed time. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, guys. Yay. Not so bad, was it? No. All right. All right. <laughs> we'll see everybody on the flip-flop. <laughs>